Jurassic World Dominion. Experience a special extended preview only on F9 and IMAX. It's a short film that takes place in between Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World 3. Is it a bear? It's a pretty big project. We've designed four new dinosaurs, completely brand new dinosaurs for this project, which have never been seen before in the Jurassic franchise. In a way, we've opened up the ILM model shop again, which has been a real pleasure to do. And I know that ILM have a great history of building physical props. So we 3D printed our digital models of our dinosaur heads. We printed them down at quarter scale. And then actually artists in our uh, art department downstairs have painted the lighting reference maquettes for us. So we have a fully grown adult Allosaurus and we have a family of Nasutoceratops, which are a Ceratopsian dinosaur. And so there's a male and a female adult, and there's a baby. The baby Nasuto is, is super cute. It's always fun. And it's something very, very different from what we do with the other big dinosaurs. It's a baby one. You get these cute little babies, and it gives you an opportunity to do something different with them, which is a lot of fun and, and kind of fresh for us, which is great. The big thing that we're doing here is actually using a lot of virtual production. Stagecraft's been a really big part of the process that we've adopted here to help Colin Trevorrow prep for the film. And we actually treated it like a real shoot. We were able to give Colin virtual camera, shoulder-mounted rigs, dollies, technocranes and sliders, and a steady cam. And we were actually able to then, in two days, shoot the entirety of our previs. We had live performers down with us, so we had five performers on the stage at the time. It was over a hundred setups in that short space of time. You know, the camera setup are exactly what he wants, is there's a lot of back and forth there. So, so Colin having the ability on the stage to shoot those things as if the dinosaurs were really there is a really, really uh, useful tool. 